Hey guys, it's Amanda from Animal Apocalypse. Today I'm going to be doing a little um, hermit crab food cooking. So basically I've decided that at least once or twice a week I'm going to be uploading videos of me making hermit crab meals so you guys can get some ideas. So usually I take this lid, which is my peanut butter lid. I like it because it's shallow and wide. I work small for my tank and then I have a small generic reptile bowl. I usually do vegetables in here and fruit. And I do my dried stuff in here, or if it's messier, I'll put it in here because it's a smaller bowl. Um, so, this is my plan for today. I look at the dye that I've created this week and try to mix up the vegetables. They love variety, and you try to make sure not to give them too much of a certain thing and too little of a certain thing on their food pyramid. Um, I'm kind of low on, not low on vegetables, but on my variety of vegetables. So, like, they haven't been getting too much of a change in vegetables, so I keep that as kind of the basis and then change the other things around it. Like yesterday, they've got they got um, blood worms like freeze frozen, and I thawed them. That was like something different for them, because you just give that to my um, African dwarf frogs. But so for their other dish, instead of doing dry, I'm gonna be doing a honey peanut butter mix. So honey's really good for molting crabs, and overall they just love it so much. But it's it's good. It has a lot of benefits. But this is usually my protein in here. I usually do I usually do a nut mix in this bowl. But, um, today I'll be doing peanut butter and honey. So, um, just put some peanut butter in there. And then I'm gonna do some honey. And, you know, this is gonna get them a little messy, so you don't wanna, like, give them a ton. I mean, you can get them as much as you want, but if you're prepared to get the mess. And this is Rice Krispies, and I love to add Rice Krispies to it because it's crunchy and it's different for them. It's a different item for them to eat. You can give them cereals, just avoid sugary cereals, things like plain checks, with plain checks and um, plain Cheerios and Rice Krispies and all that are great for them. And they like them, so that's a plus. This is going to be really rough to clean up, though, by the way, so when you clean your dishes, it's going to be hard. Okay, so I've got peanut butter, honey, and Rice Krispies in here. Um, I'm going to sprinkle a little more honey on there, just because I don't see anything. Alright, so there's my first dish. Um... Actually, I'm also going to put some walnut chunks in there. I already have crushed walnuts in this dish, so I'm just going to sprinkle some in there. Alright, that's pretty funny. So, <laughs> I just put my food dish as the cover of this instead of the actual peanut butter dish. Um, I was wondering why there's already peanut butter in there. Okay. Then I'm going to do some vegetables. So they got a lot of pepper yesterday, so I'm, I'm still going to give them pepper, but I'm going to try and get them a little less. Okay. So some spinach sounds good. Pretty much all greens are really good for them. Sorry, like allergies. All greens are pretty good for them, except iceberg lettuce isn't really good for any animals because it doesn't have much nutritional value. But, um... They've had a lot of spinach lately, so I'm not going to give them a ton, but I'm just going to rip a little piece off of that. I'm going to put it in the corner. Okay, I'm going to give them that yesterday. And they had, they had a lot of vegetables yesterday because I didn't really have much else. Like They had these exact same vegetables, so I am going to only give them a little bit of these vegetables and then trade it in with other food items. I do want to give them variety. So I've got broccoli and spinach in the corner here. And then a little lettuce right here. This is a very small amount. I'm only doing this because I'm going to be giving them other foods um, on the other sides because they had so much of this yesterday. So they basically had a vegetable diet yesterday. So I have lettuce, um, broccoli, spinach. And I'm going to do pepper strips. Also, just while I'm talking, while I'm doing this, to tell you, 
So some other things you can interest be interested in feeding your crabs are like flowers and stuff. So now that it's gonna spring out tulips and roses and daisies and other various flowers, you can give them the petals and some of them a lot of them can get them stems. They love dandelion greens, so anything that with dandelions are good for them. You can look up there's like so many flowers you can give them. Um hay, you can give them so many different kinds of vegetables and fruits. Okay, so small little amounts of pepper. And I want to show you guys this. I'm not sure if I'm really going to use it because I'm not going to do much of a peanut diet today because I have the peanut butter and honey mix. But I use this chopper to chop up all my nuts so that I can get like huge like like walnuts and cashews and everything and chop them down and mix them up and put them in a bowl. Um, that works because my crabs can just pick at it. But I don't know if I use that. So I'm just chopping up some orange pepper now. So I have the red pepper and the orange pepper. Oh, and Amanda Cannon, the other person who Sam was talking about joining the channel, is going to be joining the channel. Um, there's some confusion, but she will be. So that will be second Amanda on the channel. Okay. Um, so. I've got... Oops, just fell. With the red pepper and the orange pepper. And then some spinach, broccoli, and lettuce. So now that I have that, um, I kind of already did a lot of vegetables, like I said, so I'm not going to really do many more vegetables. Now I'm going to be doing, um, some generic dried stuff that my fish eat. They can have pretty much a lot of, uh, the fish foods that we, that we give our fish. So let's drop the flakes. So I'm just going to give them a pinch of that. Just adds different, um, variety to the diet. These are freeze-dried bloodworms. Prefer preferable if you can give them um, frozen and then thawed bloodworms, that's better, but since it's such a small amount, it really doesn't matter. But if that's like, for like your fish and stuff, that's preferred. And these are just a different type of flake. This is my three, I'm, I reviewed it on my fish tank thing. It's got three different types of, um, flakes in it. I mean, not flakes. Different, you know, different types of, uh, like, fish food type things. And then I'm going to do some... This. I usually would put this in my dry food bowl, but considering I'm using it to do the mixture that I made earlier, I won't be doing that. Okay. So, I've got the mixture of all the dry stuff there. I would almost always put it in this bowl, but since I've got that covered, I'll just put it in here. Um, okay, so now... I think about if there's anything else that I would want to give them, and I think maybe, let's see what we've got. Sorry guys, I should have kind of planned out this out, huh? Um, I'm just gonna look and see if there's anything else that I want to give them. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm gonna do some raisins. So, I'm trying to just break for your friends. So, raisins perfect. I'm not gonna chop them up because they just pick at them anyway. So, sometimes I chop them up if I'm mixing them out and stuff, but those are just going on the plate. I'm just gonna put that there. Reasons, reasons, reasons everywhere. Alrighty. Hmm. Any last things before I need? Hmm. So let's go over what we have so far. Maybe I'll think of anything. Um, we have the mixed bowl that has the honey, peanut butter, rice krispies, and walnuts. Then we have the raisins, orange pepper, red pepper, broccoli, spinach, lettuce, and then the mixed dry foods from the fish bowl. Um, do I want anything else? No, I think it's all set. I think I'll just give a little bit more of the vegetables, maybe. But yeah, 
guys, so that's my food vlog. I'll be doing one every week, or a few times a week, showing you what I'm going to give my hermit crabs that week. Well, not that week, <laughs> that day. And, um, I hope you enjoy. So, here's my